Well, students in Bartlesville up bright and early this morning for the first time in a while, for many of them, preparing for the first day back to school, unlike any other. This half hour, we're hearing from parents as they send their children back into the classroom in the middle of a pandemic. Our Project Tape Schools reporter Tatiana Taylor is live outside of Bartlesville High School. And Tatiana, about 80% of Bartlesville Public School students are going to be back in those buildings today. Yes, Travis, and two of those students are children of Tracy Goad, and she says her main concern as a parent is if her children get sick in the classroom and bring that virus home. But she says both of her kids really wanted to return in person, and their pediatrician recommended they go back as well. Now, Tracy Goad has two kids, Rainey, a senior, and Evan, a sixth grader. She says her daughter Rainey didn't want to spend her senior year at home, and Evan begged to go in person. So he wouldn't miss out on his face to face interaction from school that he's been missing out on since March. Tracy says she's really looking forward to her kids finding some sort of normal schedule again, and she knows Bartlesville will keep her kids safe. I'm looking forward to them um, getting back to school, getting back to some sense of a normalcy, um, getting the school year started, and I just hope that everyone has a good year and that everyone is able to stay safe and well. As Tracy prepares her two kids right now for a successful first day, she tells me she trusts the school's safety measures and that they're keeping her worries at bay. Now, all month, we'll be bringing you first day of school details live, showing everyone how Green Country is heading back to school. You can find those updates and details online at KGRH.com. Live in Bartlesville, I'm Tatiana Taylor, Two Works For You.